Hi all. Good evening all of you. Today onwards we are going to present a new series of essay that is most useful for UPSC CAPF examination. So it is very clearly mentioned under paper 2 of UPSC CAPF examination where 80 marks will be covered from only single topic called essay. So let us understand first of all what is an essay and all that stuff. But this video is presented before you by AVKS Academy, one of the best institute in India for CAPF coaching. So first of all, let us understand what is an essay. See guys, an essay is a simple option or a single option that is available for UPSC to check the talent from the aspirant on multi-related or multi-related aspects. The examiner will be checking whether the aspirant is feasible to speak on a topic or not. Because people try to understand, you are all the future officers. When you consider yourself as a future officer, an officer must be having a gradient knowledge with regard to every single topic. So it is the same thing that is tested by UPSC. An essay is an option to UPSC to know the view of the aspirant on various current events taking place in the country as well as worldwide. Ab se ye jante hai UPSC, ki aapne desh mein jo ho raha hai, ya fir dunya mein jo ho raha hai, uske baare mein aapke achya sa jankari hai ya nahi, ye jane ka koshish UPSC essay ke thru karte hai. Ab jab aapke bachpan mein bhi, aisa kuch hua karta tha. In your younger age, you used to give an option to write an essay about your favorite pet used to get an essay about your favorite teacher, used to get an essay about the favorite animal, used to get an essay about your favorite actor, used to get an essay write about your parent, used to get an essay write about the singer, so all that stuff. The only difference between the essay which you used to write in your childhood and the essay which you are writing currently is the matter of scattering guys. In your early childhood whatever you write to chalta tha, lekin isme aisa nahi hai. The UPSC have a fixed pattern of writing an essay. The fixed pattern is something which is all must be aware of. That is guys, the introduction part, fir hoga aapka main body, then comes your conclusion part. So in this way, we can broadly divide the essay part into three areas. This is the basic information which every single aspirant is aware of. But the intention of this class is to make you aware on how best you can make your introduction, main body and conclusion impressive. That is the key idea. Chaliye dekhte. See guys, you some uh, thoda sa aapko jankari de denge apan. UPSC CAPF examination will ask the aspirant to write totally 4 essays about 300 words each and you will also, you will also know uh, very well that totally 6 essays will be given and only 4 essays are to be chosen from 6 given topics. And the topics usually will be contemporary linked with all the information related. Yani ke, all the topics will be current affairs related guys. Current affairs yani ke, they will not be asking in anything like Virat Kohli ne century mara ya Rohit Sharma ne century mara ya koi nahi puchne wale aapse. But, the essay topic would be contemporary with reference to the historical evidence. That must be the key area with the, before you write an essay. So, chale apan dekhte kuch key points before writing an essay. See people, first of all the most important point that has to be remembered while writing an essay is the topic of the essay. The topic of the essay is totally six topics will be given for all of you and you know very well. And these six topics can be from six different areas. For example, there is an essay to be written on reservation system in India. This is one option. For example, there is an essay to be written about the revolt of 1857. For example, there is an essay to be written about the river system in India. For example, there is an essay to be written about RBI and its functions. For example, there is an essay to be written about the radar system in India. So anything with reference to the alphabet R are chosen. And do remember one thing, 
the essay topics which are given to you if suppose you are asked to write about the reservation system it must be linked or connected with your polity if you are asked to write about revolt of 1857 it must be connected with your something called history subject if it is given about something to write about the river system in india then must be connected with geography aspect yadi rbi ke bare mein pucha to it must be connected with your economy if it is given the radar system must be connected with your science and technology aspect so whatever is the topic that is mentioned in your topics of essay must all be interrelated or interconnected with your general studies so the point which has to be made very clear over here is unless and until you are thorough with the general studies you will not be daring to face an essay first of all get a good grip on the subject called general studies with this guys your view on the topic is also very important because unless and until you have your own perspective about the topic you cannot move ahead the reason being if you are writing suppose about the reservation system in india if you are choosing a topic to write about the reservation system in india so you need to have guts to write 300 different words and 300 impressive words in fact to write an essay about reservation system ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको कई से दो पॉइंट मिल गया दो पॉइंट याद आ गया और वो दो पॉइंट लिख लिया और आपका पेन हटक गया योर पेन विल स्टक इफ यू आर नॉट तरो विद द रिजर्वेशन योर पेन विल स्टक इफ यू आर नॉट तरो विद द आर बी आई यूर पेन विल स्टक इफ यू आर नॉट तरो विद द रिवर सिस्टम इन इंडिया सो माई ओनली पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू मेक इट वेरी क्लियर ओवर हियर इज द कंटेंट अबाउट द टॉपिक मस्ट बी वेरी तरो बिफोर यू बिगिन द टॉपिक इट unless and until you are prepared to write 300 impressive words you should not start a topic at all so since you have a plenty amount of time before you start preparing for general studies get a good grip on the subject later on every single day start practicing writing an essay we will discuss how to write an essay again theek hai fir aapko ye janna hoga the reason of writing an essay kyun likh raha hu main ye bhi to janna hoga na because if suppose i say that there is a topic given about the swachh bharat abhiyan and you need to know the reason of writing about swachh bharat abhiyan without knowing the basic reasons for example if i say that swachh bharat abhiyan uh, the, the the reasons are also to be analyzed because see people whenever i say swachh bharat you people might be writing a point about cleaning india you people might be writing a point about open defecation free you people might be learning about uh, writing about something called the toilets and the construction of toilets in india but this will not be feasible for the point you need to know the reason why are you writing about swachh bharat abhiyan ye nahi sochna aapko kyunki mujhe 10 20 number milega isliye to main likh raha hu aisa nahi sochna padega kyunki unless and until you are involved into the writing you cannot write an impressive essay people this point has to be highlighted unless and until you face a categorical situation about such bharat about the cleanliness about the reservation about the reserve bank about demonetization about gst jo kuch bhi topic hone dijiye unless and until you are face the situation unless and until you have been into the situation unless and until you know about the situation you cannot start writing because you will be stuck in between please be noted guys with that just now i have i was saying the same thing the sequence of essay is also very important because once you are starting the introduction part and once you enter into the main body you will be stuck it's of no use of starting the topic and the tagline beside the topic is also most important aajkal upsc ne aisa koi topic nahi deta upsc will not directly mention about the reservation system and write 200 words it's 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 never given by upsc UPSC simply says reservation system in India since independence was not really very successful in eliminating poverty. 
kindly evaluate kindly give reasons kindly critically analyze is tarah se koi tagline unke un pe jor dete hain to aapko ye bhi malum hona chahiye us tagline ka kya matlab hai what is the meaning of the tagline and what are the various aspects that are to be covered with the tagline as beside the topic as such so we will understand in a future uh, classes what are the meaning of various taglines that are added beside the statement then the literature about the topic is also most important people suppose if i say that today write an essay about women empowerment many aspirants can write 1000 words and in fact 3000 words about the topic women empowerment but the thing which i wanted to make it very clear here is they need to know the clear literature about the topic they need to have a good communication skills in order to write the essay because you cannot present whatever you like you aap aap koi gana nahi likh sakta aap isko jo likh raha it affects the further lines so the grammar or the literature part of the essay is also most important people with that let us understand how to easily start an essay or how to quick start an essay just now have said the essay comprises of three parts introduction main body as well as the conclusion part see guys always remember introduction part must always be impressive in nature the reason being it is the first impression that the uh, the examiner usually reads suppose they are given an essay to write about 300 words and in this 300 words i do recommend my students that first 75 words must always be dedicated to introduction part and in this introduction the aspirant must announce or give his view on the topic if suppose i say there is a topic given called demonetization and if you are starting an introduction about the demonetization you need to go for the historical evidences of demonetization kab kab se ye demonetization chalte aa rahe india mein ye sab aapko likhna padega clear because in the very first lines the examiner will know that yes the aspirant will not only know about the demonetization happened on november 8 2016 but is also aware about the historical evidences of demonetization by which the introduction will become more impressive as such because after the introduction is impressive the examiner will be in the same mindset while reading the further points that is main body as well as the conclusion we will discuss how to make it more impressive introduction in the further classes people you know very well that upsc is now giving an essay something in this pattern clear uh, it is not given a plain paper in fact the statement is given over here and you'll be given some space to write and essay as such clear everybody in the class so you need to uh, uh, know that yes this is a tagline given and your entire essay must be fitted only in the given space that is available clear people then move ahead then come to the main body main body is something where the aspirant will give his immediate thought about the topic clear people here the aspirant will be breaking all his thoughts into two into various different points clear for example if we are suppose that we are writing our essay about a topic called gst if you are writing a essay about gst in the introduction part you people might have read, uh, written about the historical points about the gst but in the main body you will be writing about the slab rates of gst you'll be writing about certain figures that are associated with gst you'll be writing about certain achievements of gst you'll be writing about the performance of gst you'll be writing about something called sgst cgst and igst hota kya ye sab aapko likhna hai and do remember people while writing the essay i have initially announced that first 75 words must be categorized for introduction part and do remember last 75 words will be allocated for conclusion part and in between the 150 words must completely be dedicated to the main body the main body must be 150 words and do remember at least 10 different points must be highlighted in this 150 words 
इसका सीधा सीधा मतलब ये हुआ है हर दस वर्ड में क्लियर इन एवरी टेन वर्ड्स यू नीड टू गिव वन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन योर एस दैट विल बी मोर इम्प्रेसिव दैट विल बी मोर अट्रैक्टेड टू द एवेल्यूएटर क्लियर पीपल ऑल ऑफ यू सो विद दिस सी वाइल ब्रेकिंग इन टू पॉइंट एग्जाम्पल्स और फैक्ट्स आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ये भी आपको जानना है अपन बात करते हैं इसके बारे में भी क्लियर द स्टैंड ड्यूरिंग इंट्रोडक्शन मस्ट ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू इन द मेन बॉडी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल इफ यू आर गिविंग अ पॉजिटिव इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट जी एस टी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द सेम पॉजिटिविटी मस्ट कंटिन्यू इन मेन बॉडी एज वेल आप ऐसा नहीं है कि इंट्रोडक्शन में पॉजिटिव लिख लिया and in the main body you are writing something like uh, gst se mera ye tax barna aur zyada ho gaya clear indirect taxes badh gaya i am paying more taxes initially before gst i used to pay less taxes ye sab aapko likhna nahi hoga if you want to write that take a negative stand in the introduction itself clear people with that connected with all the aspects of general studies this is very critical in order to connect a single topic with various multiple areas of general studies like history polity economy and geography we will understand in a great detail in the further classes how to connect it with all the areas of general studies clear people with this here the aspirant in the conclusion area see people the aspirant will be merging all his thoughts and all his views all his points which were announced in introduction as well as in the main body see the same thing is written here here the aspirant will have to summarize both introduction and also the main body and one important point that has to be noted is the aspirant will give here the final call on the topic because it has given the positivity in gst in the introduction positivity about gst in the main body and in the final conclusion part he must give certain suggestions about gst certain measures to improve gst certain indicators about gst so after concluding this the examiner will now come to a conclusion by reading your introduction he says ha isko itihas bhi malum hai he also knows about the historical evidences while reading your main body the examiner will come to a conclusion saying that the he knows various aspects about gst while he read your conclusion the examiner must believe that it is the olq of the aspirant olq matlab janna hoga aapko uh, uh, aspirants olq is very important officer like quality clear once you are giving some suggestions to the government it is you are giving suggestions to upsa indirectly it means you are giving suggestions to the government so it is a officer like quality and examiner will be more satisfied with this so people please be keep this all very important points while you write an essay and at the same time people just try to remember one important thing this video is presented before you by avks academy that is a best academy in india for capf coaching with this for further videos you please do like our video share our video and also subscribe to our channel avks academy keep watching thank you people thank you so much